Anthony has decided to pull something worse than jism when it comes to setting conditions for a debate. When I informed him of this hangout, I gave him the link to the watch page and just said, neutral channel, just you and me, no possibility to kick each other, no possibility to snipe, no chance of unannounced people joining as everyone must ask to join. And that, that asking can actually be refused. So Anthony decides to pull something worse than a Jaren. He's actually not going to show, and this is why. His reason, not until you admit publicly that you lied about having a meeting with a judge and extradition refused on the possible grounds of insanity. You admit you lied and identify specifically what you lied about, and sure, you're on, buddy. Till then, fuck off. So he has pulled the ultimate puss-out move and done and said, even though he's the one that called me out to talk about this, and then when I accepted, he sets a condition he knows will not be met. So, Anthony, yes, you're a pussy. But he needs Nathan to help him when his BS gets called out, which I actually said in my comment thread between me and him, that he won't have Nathan there to back him up. Hmm. That's why he won't come. One so, one-on-one, can't, can't do it. Can't do it. In other words, you're more than happy to make claims when you have people just sucking your balls saying, yep, yep, yep. And when you're correct, when you're actually confronted on those claims and they're not there to back you up, you are an absolute coward. Thank you for proving that. But you need Nathan to hold your hand and cup your balls and stroke it in just the right way for you to feel confident in the bullshit that you're spewing. That, 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 that says a lot about you and none of it is good. Just throwing that out there. So thank you for demonstrating that not only that you are a fucking coward, but that you are Nathan's fucking lapdog. No offense, I. Well, what it is is Nathan, whenever Anthony starts to get back in the corner, Nathan will jump in and just start talking nonstop so nobody else can get a word in edgewise so Anthony doesn't have to actually face what he's been dealt. Exactly. Basically, he's making his bed, and he doesn't want to lay in it. Go figure. But, but thank you, Anthony, for proving beyond a shadow of a doubt that you don't have an argument on your own. You have to have everybody else coddle you.